Hello, welcome to the Graph Tutorials Tech Series. In this video, we are going to discuss about Wooded APIs and their adaption web methods. Let's get started. What is Wooded? Open Data Protocol is the protocol for REST APIs. If you don't know about REST, it is an architectural style but is not a protocol. Whereas Wooded implements all the semantics and the recommended practice of REST. It just standardizes them. It is an initiative from Microsoft and the latest version v4 is being standardized by Oasis. Oreta enables applicants to expose their data quickly as APIs. We will have a look at this in detail in the demo. Integration Server implements Oreta 2.0 version with the help of Apache Olenko libraries and actually takes the beauty of adapters and lets you expose Oreta APIs within few seconds. Let's have a look at the demo. For the demo, I have two packages on my integration server. One package with the adapter connection already connected to database and another package for the demo. Let me create a O data service. Click on new O data service. I am going to call this as my retail O data service or API. Let's say next. Here you have two options. One is empty O data service and another one is uh, external source type. My favorite one is being external source type. What is an empty O data service? You have to define all the implementation and expose them as a OData service, which is almost similar to your current uh, REST API implementation on web methods. But my favorite one is external source stack. I'm going to select this and I'm going to select the adapter and say next and click on the connection, say next. And then uh, this connection is going to list out all the tables for me. I can actually choose one uh, table and also I can choose to expose couple of tables. Let me expose both of them for time being and here you could actually change the data type when you are actually exposing. I am going to leave one thing as is but I am going to expose uh, this maybe as a string just to show you kind of a demo. Okay. Say finish. That's it. Your audit IP is ready to um, consume and if you have made any changes to the database in future right and if you have to basically um, make any adjustments right you can actually do that for time being if you see right um, this table customer table has a primary key as id and this table doesn't have a primary key and when you don't have a primary key it is actually becomes difficult to uh, consume such an entity without uh, having a resource identifier so you need to actually define a resource identifier for that you can just say click and come back here and say click on primary key and this becomes primary key and i'm going to for fun i'm going to change this as a string that's it and say sync. So by doing so, you are not actually propagating any changes to database but instead basically you are just making changes when you are actually exposing to the consumers. I am going to save this. That's it. You have this ready. Now how do you consume this solid API? All you have to do is just go here and say copy and come back to your uh, uh, any API client like Postman and say dump this and now most important thing, right? Uh, any API has uh, something like an Open API spec or a Swagger or a Swizzle if it is a SOAP API. Hudita has metadata. So, all you have to do is just copy the metadata endpoint here that is uh, after your Hudita namespace and Hudita APIs need to be accessed with Hudita directive. This is Hudita directive here and you can actually customize this on integration server also. But I'm going to leave this uh, as a default and I'm going to query the metadata and metadata actually gives me the uh, uh, details of uh, what are the entities available in this API and how do you need to consume and here there are two entities one is entity type customer that is my entity type uh, one and you can actually access this um, with you see right below how do you need to consume it you need to consume it with this kind of a name I'll show you in a moment. So and the second entity is uh, orders and you can actually consume this as here and you can you, you should observe one thing basically integration server actually appends a plural uh, convention after the entity that is if you have customer table it actually appends s at the end so if you forget about this you will not be able to consume it for time being i'm going to copy this put this here and i'm going to query uh, this and I will also copy this for future reference. Say query this. I'm gonna get all the customers. If you see, I have uh, it is giving you the self links also. 
okay you see this self link and id name i have only two columns id and name is giving you and okay i am gonna put this okay i'm gonna query this one as well so you get this so this is orders and it is giving you order numbers now how do you consume one single entity just plus put this here and if you want to have a json format this is atom format if you go and look at this this is nothing but atom format if you want to have a json format you can actually have the json format there are a lot of other cool features like get me only top 2 get you only top 2 and you can say skip the first and it has inline expansion also uh, for inline expansion all you have to do is just keep this and this is my field name get only subset of uh, attributes actually get them as well now you can also basically use dollar count as a resource gives you all the number of uh, records equivalent to uh, select count of star from the database right so there are other cool features like order by filter and uh, inline count um, uh, right if you want to actually learn more these things please do have a look at the documentation now uh, let's come back to uh, what we are discussing right after the demo now uh, it actually lets you focus on your uh, building your business logic rather than worrying about uh, the request response format status codes HTTP methods URL conventions media types and payload format query options and um, most important thing actually where do you actually place uh, ODT APIs in your API led architecture so you would actually have to place them uh, in the system API layer where you are actually seeing in this picture uh, uh, at the uh, uh, directly connectivity uh, to the external data sources with a native low level connectivity like adapters uh, because uh, this will not only uh, uh, let you modernize your backends but it actually reduces your development time and your higher layers in the API led architecture like process layer and experience layer are no longer tightly coupled uh, with your backend systems and if you need actually help in building API led architecture and integration right please do reach out to craft software solutions thanks for watching this video and do not forget to follow and subscribe us